Hello everybody, welcome back to Diamond Painting with Eskies. I'm going to do this as quickly as I possibly can, so I am not going to go through every color because I don't have a whole lot of space left on my phone. <laughs> but a big huge box arrived today and I took the stuff out of the big huge box because there's just not enough room in my room for all of that. But we're going to go through these one by one as quickly as I can. So, Santa Claus visited my house early today. I'm very excited. Okay. Let's get that open. Yep. I just have to get the tweezers in where I want them. And I'm still waiting on a delivery that could come... Sorry about that. It could come today or tomorrow. I can't tell if that noise is at the neighbors or here. I'm not really certain. Um, one of those boxes is bigger than my puppies are because it's full of a giant bag of their food. So, this one. Now, this is another story. Now, this is happening because of the holiday buy one get one 90 percent off um sorry i'm umming today i don't normally do that do i but this was something i had looked at for quite a while okay sorry about that that was amazon delivering a big huge bag of puppy food and something i wasn't expecting these awesome collapsible eye Beading needles, because I'm having trouble threading the one for my beaded embroidery. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited to try these. Okay, so back to this. Still waiting on Reese's. Those have not come yet. <laughs> Girl's got to have her chocolate. Okay, so this one had been something I had looked at for quite a while. It wasn't a top priority for me. It was one that, well, maybe someday. We'll see. I Don't get me wrong. I love this artist's work. Is she my absolute favorite artist? No, kind of Chuck Pinson is. but Or for Diamond Art Club. Chuck Pinson is. So we have the standard round toolkit. Trying to see if there's any multiplacers. I'm sure there are. A few baggies, a couple of hearts of wax, a little clear tray that I never use. Um, we have super pretty colors. I'm covering up the name for a moment. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness, all the purples and teals and blues and aqua and a little bit of green. Awesome. So anyway, I had looked at this one for a while and debated, uh, do I want it, do I not want it? Are there any other Mandy's that have come out that I'm just... Gaga over. So this one, I know someone that we all love very much has done this one and loved it because, you know, anything green makes her very, very happy. <laughs> but for me, it's, I'm kind of needing color right now. I'm working on a ton of 310 and a ton of shades of white. So... <laughs> Yeah, that silly old thing. This is one of the older kits. There's no schematic, no sticker. I really prefer the strip over the stickers anyway. So, this is Cinderella. For those who do not know, the only thing I'm going to have to do is add facial features because the no facial features creeps me out big time. So, I will fix that. At least with a couple of dots for eyes because that really creeps me out. So, but the colors are so pretty. I'm not a big fan of orange, except at Halloween. But, oh, all the blues and aquas and, oh my goodness, yes. So happy. This has 33 colors. I don't know if you can see. No, you cannot. 33 colors. It has, mm, are there any? 1AB. And it's a blue. 
awesome. Okay. Like I said, I'm not going to sit and go through all of the drills. Because if I do that, we will be here for the next month. And I have lots of stitching and diamond painting and beaded stitching to do. So, I really, yeah, no. Plus puppies to take care of and a crazy sun and, you know, all that good stuff. Alrighty. So, that is Mandy Manzano Cinderella. And that is a 42 by 59 because my brain is not really thinking straight. Sorry, guys. So, yes. There is one that is reasonably sized. That's a medium. So, let's go to hmm, one that I've wanted since I saw it. But, again, it wasn't on the priority thing. But I'm so, 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 so glad this one is here. And if I could figure out what I did with my tweezers, that would make my life so much easier. Yeah, I know. Be careful not to put my leg on them or something. I'm just worried about a puppy landing on him. I'm sure that the outside of my leg is on him is what's going on. Okay. You guys know that I have one, two... Three, four, four, four pieces from this artist already. This is my fifth. <coughs> and as far as I know, to date, this is the last one from that artist that I particularly am. Ooh, I really like that over. And this one is nice and small. It is a 42 by 52 also, so another medium. Sorry, there's one in here that is a very manageable size. The last time I did one that size, it took me about a week. So. These will have very neutral colors, I'm presuming. And it is another round, because everything by this artist is round. So basic round toolkit. Um, okay, that doesn't give you a name. Obviously, this is a newer kit. But we have lots of 823 and 939. I can see that. And some oranges and, and, uh, burnt orange, a little deep red. Some yellow. 310. Oh my gosh, what's the 310 today? I put on a few thousand 310s today. <laughs> so my brain is kind of like, oh my goodness, no more 310 right now. Yeah. I'm brain fried on 310. All right. Let's see if this one's going to open or be difficult. Yay. Okay. So, at this point, this is the final one from this artist that I really wanted. I'm sorry about my phone going ding ding. I forgot it was going to do that today does that every day. Drives me insane. Let me put you on hold and I will mute that. Okay, sorry about that. I should have thought about it. I knew that anybody that might call would already know that I was filming, so... Yeah. Okay, same set of instructions I will never ever need, thank goodness. Guys, I put those in the recycle bin. Seriously. That's where they go. The last of the JoJo's Art Wolves. Yes. So this is called Night Guardian. Oh, such a pretty face. And these are stars. It ha This is a 42 by 42. It has... No, 42 by 52. Sorry. It has 27 colors. It has two ABs. So pretty. So, so pretty. And you can see the clouds and the moon. And the guardian with the, the lightning. Oh, I just love this. I just love this. So pretty. Pilgrim's Arts does very lovely, but sort of fantasy style wolves. 
If you're wondering what the other ones are that I have, they are in further unboxings, but it is Wanderer and its accompanying piece, which I'll let you go and look for. Um, it is Fire and Ice and its accompanying piece, which would be the Red and Blue Wolf. So, yeah. And now I have Night Guardian. Awesome! Santa loved me today. Lots and lots. All right. So, let's save that last small one for last. Let's unbox a big one by an artist that, oh my goodness, has just become my wow artist. I love ocean scenes that are reminiscent of my memories, especially with lake scenes, because I grew up going to the lake with my dad. Uh, again. And yes, I'm very careful that none of this gets left where my puppies can get to it. Oh my goodness. <coughs> this kit is fairly heavy. Um, it is a 74 by 55. You guys know me and the bigger paintings. <sighs> but I'm trying to fit some smaller ones in here too because... That way, every once in a while, when I just want to work on something and not have to pull out the big easel, I can do that. Oh, that's big. <gasps> My goodness, look at those colors. Wow. Okay, this one has sticker. And tweezers, so obviously it's a square. Oh my goodness. Look at the colors. They're gorgeous. Ooh. Wow. Oh, boy. That is so pretty. So, I can either show you the canvas or the sticker. Hmm. I want to see the canvas, but I'll show you both. Okay, we'll get that bag open really quick. Tell it open, open, open. The image is on Golden Shores. My goodness, with that sunset. Wow, it's so pretty. Now, I am not going to roll this one backwards because it is big and will be getting put away for a little while. Because I have lots of big paintings on the go, go at the moment. Okay, well, you know, it went, oh, okay, I'm going back in the box. Another silly set of instructions. <laughs> I know they're not silly for a lot of people. I just end up with so many of them, it's insane. Now, I'm not a lover of palm trees, just so you guys know. Personally, I'm not a fan of palm trees. But this picture is so pretty. You just kind of got to put up with the palm trees kind of deal. Oops, sorry about the shaking. Let's bring you down. So pretty. I'm trying to unshake you there. Obviously, this is a seaside resort or a really gargantuan beach house. One of the two. <laughs> so, so, so pretty. Hmm. Love this. Oh my goodness, with that sailboat. It's so pretty. Okay, so this has 48 colors. Yes, 48. And it has three ABs. Awesome. Very cool. This is a Chuck Pinson. For those who are not familiar with him yet. Or his art. None of us are familiar with him. Okay, I think I'm funny today. It's probably because I have a headache. When I have a headache, I usually think I'm funny when I'm really not. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was going to do this in multiple videos, but yeah, it was suggested that I go this way, so. I figured then we'd get you to watch more videos, you know, hey, that's okay. I just have to do this quickly enough to get it to 
be on my phone camera. Yeah. Therein could lie the problem. Hopefully not. I gotta get this back in there. Don't on it. That sticker is being a pest. Get in there. Thank you. Okay. Three to go. Okay. Let's do another one by this artist. Okay. I am so incredibly sorry, you all. I could refilm this, but then it's not actually opening them. It's just showing you. I'm so very sorry. Okay, so this is another Chuck Pinson. Now, this is odd because they rolled the canvas the other way. Guess they couldn't make up their minds? I don't know. Okay, so no tweezers means it's a round. It is a lot of autumn and fall colors with some very pretty little hints of bright color. Okay, so I pulled it out of the bag to save a little bit of time here. This is completely creased. Oh, wow. That's a hard crease, you guys. That's, yeah, that's a hard crease. Holy crud. That's through multiple areas. Mm. Clear cover or not, still, uh-uh, does not make me really happy. Let me put it that way. So, this is on Golden Shores, also by Chuck Pinson. No sticker, no schematic, 46 colors, 3 ABs. Let me try to help this, but I mean, those are hard creases in the canvas. I've never seen anything good from hard creases in any canvas. I don't care what kind of canvas it is. It makes it not lie as flat as it should. It may not damage the adhesive in this case, but it's going to affect the overall canvas. Okay. Alright. At least I got one of them where the plastic is now laying down flat on it. Okay, sorry everybody. I don't know if I said the right name of this, but it is Seize the Day. Another, the other Chuck Pinson that I got, there are only one or possibly two left that I want. I think it's only one. So, this one is a lakeside scene. It reminds me quite a lot of growing up, going fishing with my dad. This one and the other one that has been out of, out of stock that I've wanted, and it won't come back into stock, darn thing, are just very reminiscent of, of childhood for me and joyful days and evenings so but the hard creases in the canvas do not make me happy at all i think it's because they rolled it the wrong way so i'm gonna roll it the right way the way you're supposed to roll it when it's you know you would think there's no right way but apparently there is um you know, we roll it image side out once the diamonds are on it. This is the only one I've ever gotten from them that was rolled image side out to start with. And that wasn't good. So, yeah. Hopefully it won't be an issue in the final diamond painting. I will definitely be 
laying it under weight to help it before I start this painting. So, in the meantime, we'll try folding, rolling it this way and see if that helps. Okay, guys. So we're down to two more. This next one that I'm going to open is huge. And even I didn't think I'd ever get this one. But the colors, oh my goodness. But I guess right now I'm needing color. Because I do a lot of muted tones. And right now so much 310 among several paintings that my brain is 310 fried. It just is. Oh, this one's huge. The subject matter would think, make you think, uh -uh, she'll never ever get this one. I thought, mm -mm, I'll never ever get that one. But, when I was a little girl, I used to have them. And my daughter still does. And I don't dislike them, I'm just... Yeah, no. I'm a puppy lady. I'm an esky lady. That's my job in life. I'm trying to hurry you all. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> this box weighs a metric ton. Let me tell you. Oh my goodness. Holy baloney. Well, that would be why. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're pretty much all big bags of drills in blues, purples, teals, a little bit of orange. Dark pink kind of fuchsia color. A little bit of white. Wow. Seriously, there's black on this painting? <laughs> there's black on this painting. Ah, that's okay. I won't mind it later. I just mind it right now. It's been that day. With three tents. Oh my gosh. Oh. I didn't get to pull those drills out and put them somewhere else. So, obviously, this is a square kit as it has tweezers. Yeah, I was really surprised to see a couple of these in the Santa box. So, very surprised. Oh my goodness, that canvas is so densely rolled. All right, you guys. So, for a few people, this will be a giveaway, but not many. This is a square. It is 107 by 52. Mm -hmm. And no, it is not K. Rico Siren. No, thank you. Wouldn't know the measurements on that, and it's not really my kind of thing. So, not even a little. But that's okay. It is other people's cup of tea, and that makes it just fine. That's what makes this world interesting. We all like different stuffs. I happen to like critters. Particularly eskies. Oh, this one has a sticker. Rolled up in it. <coughs> okay, this only has 40 colors, which for the size of this is really shocking. And <laughs> no ABs. Okay. Which is good with me. I'm okay. I have extra ABs laying around. Yep. You got it. The gigantic, crazy, sneaky cat. <laughs> I used to have Persians and Angora cats when I was a kid. And they were white. Yeah, I know. It's a thing, I guess. Um, but this one has all the pretty colors. And that's what I was after, were the beautiful colors. I love good color. I do. And of course, purples. Turquoise, pink, blue, teal, yellow, and orange for the eyes. And we have Sneaky Cat. So you guys can actually see the whole thing. Not that you guys haven't seen it at some point. I'm sure you have. <laughs> but I never thought I would want that one. And then as I've been doing so many that, you know, haven't had a whole lot of bright color. I'm like, gosh, I really need some bright splashes of color right now. And this is all bright splash of color. <laughs> I love it. It's going to be fun to work on. And I actually think this 
could be something that if I can clear enough of the table off, good luck with the boys around, um, that I might pull out for Bonnie and I to work on together so she can help me with it a little bit. Because she likes the diamond paint too. And I'm trying to get this back in the bag so I can show you the last one because we're almost out of time. All right. Last one, and it's a pretty little small one that the second I saw it, I absolutely fell in love. <clears throat> and I'm so glad to have it. And I think this is the one that I kind of want to go, hmm, 310 break. We shall see. That's okay. Strange. The colors are a bunch of them in there separated. That's odd. But you can see pretty colors. Okay. This is a square. Tweezers. I have a lot of tweezers, you guys. <sighs> a lot. Which is good because one of my favorite pairs, the one that I used all the time, somehow the pointed tip of it got bent and I had to throw it out. Well, it was easy because I could just grab another one. So this is a nice little 42 by 42. This is, of course, a square. And something that most people do not know that I really love. Because they smell good and they're colorful and they're pretty. Although it is not my favorite favorite kind. It is one of my favorites. And I just think this is so pretty. And no, it is not an old lady painting. It is just a pretty, I really appreciate them kind of painting. Okay. Get this out here because we are almost out of time. This is a nice little 42 by 42. I'm going to try and pull this in where you can see all of it. Okay. This is called Lavender Arrangement. Isn't that pretty? This has no ABs. Like I said, ABs are pretty, but they're, they really don't belong in everything. And I have lots of extras. So, I'm thinking I may just, so I have something nice and comfy to work on. I may just start this because guess what? There's no 310 in this painting. <laughs> My thoughts and prayers are with all of you as always. And I hope that you also have wonderful Santa deliveries <clears throat> and have a very happy holiday season. God bless you all. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.